be a Hampton selectman because? Uh, thank you for putting this on. It's a lot of work, and we appreciate it. I want to be a Hampton selectman because I was appointed to the board eight months ago when someone stepped down, and uh, the infrastructure in this town has come a long way in regard to the Church Street pump station, the two fire stations. Those are big ticket items, and they're coming along very well, and they're getting pretty close to finished. Um, and I think it's very important that we start and look at the roads and the drainage and the issues in town. This winter, we have seen one of the worst winters we've had in a long time, and the infrastructure has suffered terribly. There are places all over town where there's water, roads are breaking up. We have all kinds of public works issues that need to be fine-tuned. And I've worked in town for over 50 years, and I've watched some of this. I was part of it back in the mid-90s, working with the Board of Selectmen. It's a challenging job. I like a challenge, and I like to work with other people, and I'd like to be elected to the Board of Selectmen for the one-year term to finish what I was appointed to start to do back in June. Thank you, Mr. Mr. Pluff, you, you mentioned um, obviously public works is one of your biggest interests, and, and you mentioned you know there there are all these things that need to be fine tuned. Um, but I mean specifically, what do you think are the biggest priorities? And and also, you know, you mentioned how how difficult this winter has been, and how that sort of right. drains some of the public works budget. How how do we find the money to pay to make those changes? Well, it's very difficult to budget for winter, especially when you don't know what Mother Nature is going to send you until it's all over with. But the Public Works budget has some money in it for roads and infrastructure and repair work. But the uh, <coughs> ultimately, the, the infrastructure is going to have to be either put in the budget or there will have to be... Uh, Bond issues. We have a we have a uh, a road account, but we haven't been able to build it up big enough to really do a big project. We did do the uh, west end of the Exeter Road, and that took about all there was in it. Uh, the the uh, discussion for the east end of the Exeter Road, say from High Street to 95. Uh, we're working on the uh, pipe work, the drainage stuff, to get estimates so that we can either put a bond article together or try to get enough income that we can uh, get it out of the uh, infrastructure fund. But it's going to take the budget committee, it's going to take the board of selectmen, it will take the Public Works Department. We're going to have to prioritize some of these roads, some of the drainage issues that we have, uh, because this we haven't got into spring yet. When, this, when these roads start to thaw, they're really going to come apart. We're going to have a tremendous amount of repair work that, that the department is going to have to deal with. So it's going to take a combination of bond issues, budget, accounting, or money, and the road fund that we've been putting 300000 a year in. And if we can get that built up so that we can get some of the <coughs> jobs done and make it better for everybody. All right. Thank you, Mr. Plot. Do any? This is for everyone. Um, do any changes need to be made to the way the trash and recycling is collected in town? And should the town look at a pay-as-you-throw system? I'm not in favor of bag and tag. This town has voted two or three times not to do that. They want the beach and the town clean. The public works employees are dedicated to that, and they do a great job. They keep it clean. They keep the beach clean. It's, it's a tremendous effort 
to pick up the trash early in the morning, get off the beach before the place comes alive, and it's neat for everyone who comes there. And to try to get a private industry to do that, I don't think it's going to happen. It may, but I doubt it. This, years ago, we had a public works director that wanted to privatize the snow plowing at the schools. And I thought that was a terrible thing because the schools are owned by the town of Hampton, and it is a town of Hampton, and who would be better to plow the snow than the people who work in the town of Hampton? And I think this trash thing is, is similar to that in the fact that you have a manager, you have a public works director, you have town employees. They go out in the morning, they do the job, the beach is clean, the town is clean, businesses are happy, and I think that speaks well for the, for the whole system that we have now. If that system can be adjusted and there is a more fair way to separate residential trash and commercial trash, then that could be looked at. But I don't think that bag and tag is the answer, and I don't think privatization is the answer. Thank you, Mr. Plot. This will be for everyone. Um, I mean, some people have made it the point that uh, the, the state own, owes the town of Hampton, and, um, and, and Hampton needs to receive more for all the services that it provides for the state. How, how do you believe um, you know, that, that goal could be achieved? We've, we've had some discussion about that at the Board of Selectmen prior to me coming on and since I've been there we've had some. It's a very difficult thing to document and it's time consuming but there's been a lot of effort put into it and I think as time goes on that the town may be reimbursed for some of what they spend for the state or the state will have to do more on their own. They snow blow the dry the uh, sidewalk at the beach this year the first time ever that may be progress or it may be just a fluke <laughs> I, I hope it's progress and I hope it's something that the state will continue to do for the residents that use the beach all winter we've had a number of people come in and ask the Board of Selectmen to do it it's state property we have sidewalks all over uptown that we have to get done for the for the kids that go to school and stuff. And the, and the beach, years ago, was not open in the winter. The state's finally beginning to realize that there's life down there and that you have to take care <coughs> of some of the services that go with it. And I think if, if uh, enough time and effort is put in of working on what the state collects from the town of Hampton and what the town of Hampton provides for services that there can be agreements and reimbursement but it's not here yet. As we reach the, um, the sort of halfway mark I'm going to ask each of the candidates to conclude with a minute or two um, summary. This is a great community. We have a lot of good people that work in it. We have a lot of people who volunteer, give back. It's a great place to live raise kids, have a family and all that. And I enjoy working here. I've earned an income here for the last 50 years. And I like to give back to the town that I grew up in and worked in. And I'd ask you for your vote on March 11th. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Plott.